Are clean energy ETFs a good bet due to rising oil and gas prices? Hello, I'm Rachel and you're watching Calchime Media. Not long ago, fossil-based fuels were the primary source of energy. Now there's increased awareness around zero emission energy sources such as wind, solar and hydropower. Let's take a look at four ETFs with the highest assets under management focused on renewable energy. First up, iShares Global Clean Energy ETF. They track a tiered index of clean energy companies globally. The portfolio consists of companies engaged in hydroelectric, solar, wind, biofuels and geothermal industries. The iShares ETF was launched by BlackRock in June 2008 and it is an open-ended fund. Its expense ratio is 0.42% and assets under management are $5.79 billion. The ETF has an average daily volume of $76.39 million. Their next ex-dividend date is the 13th of December. It has over 81 holdings. The tracking index is the S&P Global Clean Energy. The ETF gave around 14% return in one year based on the closing price of $21.77 on the 1st of October. Next up, Invesco Solar ETF tracks the Global Solar Energy Companies Index, in which the companies are selected based on the revenue generated from a related business. The ETF focuses exclusively on the solar energy segment. They started in April 2008. They track MAC Global Solar Energy Index. The open-ended fund has an expense ratio of 0.69%. The Solar Energy ETF has $2.99 billion worth of assets under management, with a daily average volume of $74.25 million. Its ex-dividend date is the 20th of December. They have around 46 companies in their portfolio. The ETF yielded around 22% return in one year at the closing price of $81.06 on the 1st of October. Next up, First Trust NASDAQ Clean Edge Green Energy Index Fund. They track the US listed clean energy companies based on their weighted market cap index. They started on February 27. The ETF is open ended and has an expense ratio of 0.6%. The ETF has $2.46 billion of assets under management and its daily average volume is $15.96 million. The ETF has 53 holdings in its portfolio. It tracks NASDAQ Clean Edge Green Energy Index. It gave a 39% return in one year and at the close $62.86 on the 1st of October. Next up. Invesco Wilderhill Clean Energy ETF. They track an index of clean energy companies based on modified equal weighted. They're an open-ended fund and started back in March 2005. The ETF has an expense ratio of 0.61% and assets under management of $1.77 billion. The average daily volume is $29 million. It tracks Wilder Hill Clean Energy Index and has over 73 holdings in the portfolio. They gave a 24% return in one year at the closing price of $77.50 on the 1st of October. Now, if you like this information, please like, share and comment on it. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon for our latest videos. For regular updates, take a look at our website, calkinemedia.com. I'm Rachel, signing off for Calkine Media.